Good day guys and welcome back. So tonight I'm going to show you how to replace the indicator bulb on your Jeep JK. Now this will probably be exactly the same throughout most of the years of the JK and the JL. It might be slightly different but for the 07 to 2012 this will be exactly the same and it's very easy. Jeep has made it uh, so simple to be able to interchange parts, take things out. You don't have to remove too many things where on most cards it's all um, entangled in the headlights um, and that sort of stuff so as you can see here this one's per working perfectly fine we've got our hazard lights on at the moment this one's per working perfectly fine and this one is not so this ind indicator bulb here needs to replace um, now I'll give you the code number I'll give you the place to buy it from you can buy these also from eBay Amazon and all your leading parts stores pretty much I just went into super cheap auto took my old bulb bulb out took it into super cheap, super cheap auto matched the codes out popped it right in there in the parking lot and you're good to go so I'm going to show you today how to replace this this is only going to take maybe two two and a half minutes if that it might take you a few minutes to run down to your parts store or if you're buying it from eBay and Amazon it might take a little bit longer so let's go ahead and replace this bulb bulb now I will leave the bulb code down in the description as well and also put it up on the screen as soon as we take that bulb off so if your one's a bit I don't know crowded it's a bit rubbed off don't worry I'll um, put that down in the description now luckily for Jeep you don't have to take the front grill off or the bumper or anything like that um, but if you do have like a factory bumper that covers these sections here um, you'll need to come in uh, between the wheel and the uh, bumper which will be a little bit harder but pretty much exact the same thing or we've got some sort of weird aftermarket stuff or bigger tires it will be a little bit harder but the general direction and purpose of it is exact the same now lucky for us we've got a big opening just here so we don't have to try and squeeze our hands for any tight gaps or anything like that so let's go ahead and replace this bowl so all you'll need is a flat head screwdriver maybe a pair of gloves that might be a bit dirty and the light's always handy if you're working at night time or somewhere that doesn't have good lighting so let's go ahead So as soon as you dive under here, you'll notice that a little box, um, it's got one red square at the bottom, one red, red square at the top, and it's got two wires coming out of it. Um, now all we've got to do is, so to remove this, um, all you'll need to do is pull down clockwise, back towards you, and you'll feel it kind of pop off. And you can just give it a nice little wiggle. If it's your first time doing it, it might be a little bit tighter. And then you'll see the bulb there. Now. All you'll need to do is, it's got two little tabs on either side, as you can see there. What you want to do is push this t one tab out and you should be able to pull at the same time and now release, release your bulb. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and check your bulb um, to see if it's been burnt out or whatever reason it might not be working for. Now this, this bulb has a really small um, on it, our original one that we had in there was nice and clear on there. So this is a multi-lit 12 volt 27-7W. So again, that's a 12 volt 27-7W. I'll also put that down in the description below if you guys need to check that out. So that's what it is. So this one's already actually been replaced. This is our brand new one. So if it's your old one, go ahead and check it out. Um, well, first go down to your parts store, get a replacement bulb, or order it on eBay, Amazon, stuff like that. It should be there pretty fast. So, get down there, pick up a new one, and all you want to do is, there's like a little clip in there, the two little prongs you pulled sideways just before, and just simply click it back in. Now, to click it back in, you want to come back in, insert the bulb, make sure there's no wires in the way get down as low as you can and you can hear it kind of slot in and then all you want to do is push up and then you're good to go and that's pretty much it so now we can get in the car and test and see if we've actually fixed it or not I hope so because it's a brand new bulb Hmm. 
So, it's a brand new bulb, so I wonder why that's not working. I'd say because I pinched one of those wires, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that wire. I could see a wire kind of hanging down before, so I'm going to go ahead, fix that, see if that works. So just be very careful. Um, I've had issues with wiring on this jet before, so uh, just be careful when you are doing yours. The first time I removed the front bumper, I somehow tore those wires, they're a bit frail. Um, so I've had issues with the indicator wires before. So also if your indicator is not working, it might not be the bulb, it could be the actual wiring coming into the loom itself. Replace the bulb first, they were only about $6.50 from Super Cheap Auto. Um, change that first and if that's not it, um, then have a look at the wiring. So I want to go ahead, fix that wiring and see if it works. It's gold. There we go, and that's what you want. You want both indicators working together. So, a little hook up on my part, uh, might have been a little bit too rough. Um, first connecting it when I actually pulled it down, because that one wire that comes kind of from further up is a little bit tight, um, so I probably applied too much pressure and just pulled it out. So it does happen, um, so if it doesn't work straight away, that's another thing to check um, on your indicator. But now that we're working, we're good to go. We're good to go back safe on the road. So that's pretty much it for today guys, um, I hope this video helped you replace that indicator bulb um, on your Jeep JK. Now if it wasn't the bulb and it was the wiring, I hope this helped as well. Um, and if this didn't work and you've got other issues, good luck. Um, but that's pretty much it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and I, I'll see you next time.